Bryony Sinclair, Senior Policy and Public Affairs Manager at World Cancer Research Fund International. Obesity is a significant issue for countries across the European region and is increasingly becoming a priority. At the European level, there are a number of strategies in place that identify priority areas for action. There's a food and nutrition action plan, a physical activity strategy, and an action plan to tackle non-communicable diseases. And although there are a number of countries that are taking actions, um, the action has been insufficient um, to date to see a decrease in obesity rates. In order to tackle obesity, we need to take a comprehensive approach. Individual actions are not going to have the desired effect. This can be done by taking a systems perspective, by understanding how different actions can work together in order to reduce obesity. One example is France's National Nutrition and Health Program. And it's, it takes a comprehensive approach that involves actions and regulations and laws that all work together to promote health and improve the food and physical environment, as well as the food composition and education and information. This program has been in place since 2001 and has contributed to decreases in overweight and obesity rates among children, reductions in salt and sugar intake across the population, and also increased fruit consumption among adults. Policies that influence the physical activity environment are crucial to uh, enable places where it's easier for people to be physically active. Across Europe, there's lots of different examples, including transport policies that really prioritize walking and cycling and active transportation. Many countries across Europe have national physical activity guidelines for different age groups, including children. Countries can follow guidance that has been provided by the World Health Organization. And for children, the World Health Organization recommends that they are physically active for 60 minutes a day and that it includes a variety of activities that are enjoyable. Education is part of a comprehensive approach to tackling obesity. This includes nutrition education and food skills incorporated into school curriculum, as well as high quality um, physical education. It's important that these are implemented together with other policies that help create healthier food environments and food systems. Many countries have implemented health-related taxes, including sugary drinks taxes in Belgium, France, Finland, Hungary, and Norway, to name a few. And a number of countries have plans to implement similar taxes in 2018, countries such as Estonia, the United Kingdom, and Ireland. Hungary's public health product tax, which is applied to the sugar, salt, and caffeine content of various foods and beverages, has been evaluated and has been shown to be successful. The evaluation showed that consumption of the tax products decreased and that this was sustained over time. And the higher price of the sugary drinks was one of the main reasons for the de decreased consumption. And most people who made a substitution um, chose a healthier alternative. One area that needs a lot more attention is restrictions on food and beverage marketing to children and adolescents. The marketing of food and beverages is a major contributor to childhood obesity. These foods are often high in fat, salt and sugar, and low in fiber, and so we need much stricter regulations in this area. So I think lessons can definitely be learned from actions that are being taken in Europe and applied to other countries. It's really important that countries consider their own national context in developing appropriate policy responses. I'd like to highlight World Cancer Research Fund International's Nourishing Policy Framework and Database. It identifies a package of policies that governments can implement in order to promote healthy diets, reduce obesity, and diet-related non-communicable diseases. The Nourishing Framework identifies 10 policy areas across three domains, which include the food environment, food system, and behavior change communication.